Hello and welcome to, uh, well this time's a review that's slightly different. Uh, today we're going to look at the uh, a few old Thomas the Tank Engine books I have at home. Um, this is a Random House picture back. Uh, this is the $2.25. Uh, all aboard for reading fun. Follow the adventure of Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends in these photographic books. Thomas gets tricked in other stories. Trouble for Thomas in other stories. Look how on the line is always in Diesel's devious D. Um, this is a copyright at uh, by William Hinneyman Limited, 1992. And yeah, these books are quite old. <laughs> uh, I'll call this is uh, please read to me. So you meant to read to your kids and not be a reviewer in a room reading this like a little moron. Uh, orange side there. Um, when you look at this book it feels like it should just be a staple on the end uh, just sort of like folded over but no this is actually a, a little uh, side there. So this one's Diesel's uh, Devious Deed and other stories and uh, the print quality is uh, uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, it looks good you know if, if all the Tom Tank Engine episodes were remastered to this quality, it'd be quite decent. Um, the cover is not hardback, but you know, it's cardboard. Because this is uh, based on the railway series by Reverend W. Audrey. This is my book, my name is... Bleh. Will you read to me? Thank you. You'll see teachers used to be polite. And again, uh, it's, it's signed to yellow, but uh, it's it faded okay. Uh, Random House, New York picture there of uh, Duck being scared and stuff. Oh, a lot of copyright information there and all that. It's fine. So pretty much each page is, uh, there's a picture. I'm going to zoom out new account. So I'll just do this. Uh, yeah. You see there? It's awesome. Um, it's pretty much just reading out the episodes because these pictures are taken from the episodes obviously with so all the models and stuff and it's pretty much the script <laughs> more pictures there, they're, they're nicely printed uh, because of the quality of the paper the pictures might not look that good mm -hmm. I'll turn that light off it's not doing so well with this angle That's better. I mean, if you remember the episodes, then these pictures would definitely mean something to you. Um, I used to see these as a really young kid, and yeah, little CGI crap here. Okay, now this picture is quite horrifying. It's For little kids, see these some of these episodes used to be quite scary. Uh, this this episode actually made it one of my top ten, my top ten lists. So uh, you can see at uh, the bottom uh, on the playlist and all that. Uh, the last episode, which has nothing to do with uh, the duck episodes, is Woolly Bear. It's, uh, it's a fun episode, uh, a few pages long. Uh, it's pretty cool. Because uh, last page, uh, they they can't help but advertise all this other stuff. Um, let me read there. My name is Alice, that's me Street Alphabet book. A to Z, look and see. The bears in bears go to school. Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Christmas is coming. Dinosaurs. One teddy bear is enough. No, it's not. Um, PJ Spot, Bunny, Sesame Street, Nutcrackers, and all that. So there's quite a lot going on there. Oh, cow on the lane. Nice picture on the front there, the back's pretty much identical. Some of the pages contain full page pictures with the text inside. Sort of ruins the picture experience, I guess. I don't like it. I like the big picture, but I don't like having words in there. And these are all nice printings. I miss that bridge. It's not really in the show anymore. Uh, 
Yeah, this episode made him on my top 10 list as well. That's awesome. That's two that made in my top 10. And uh, this episode, uh, if you ever see season two, uh, the music is always a bit weird in season two. Everything seems a little bit creepy. Everything seems a little bit brown and yellow. Uh, watch it, and you'll see what I mean. And all the other seasons don't have it. It's just season two. Thomas gets tricked, and other stories. Because that's, uh, that's episode one. Yeah, it's episode one. That's cool. So this book should have come first. Uh, that picture's a bit off there, a bit dark. You see, uh, the uh, stories are randomly selected, and they're not in order. Um, which is a bit silly, I think. And this one's a bit weird, got yellow text on the back. Um, not too many stories in that book. Okay, and this one's uh, Trouble of Thomas. Uh, let's go through it quickly. So, you know, you're getting an idea of what these books are like. Tom saves the day. Thomas goes fishing. Turns the tractor. And there you go. And, and the last one, which uh, is also the same kind of book, um, is uh, actually not based on uh, the episodes. And the back is slightly different. Um, it's eating fun to help your child to learn. Child learn to read. Picture, picture back readers offer lively, satisfying stories that are told with just fifty or fewer words. As part of each book, there are mini learning cards, uh, to complete suggestion game riddles, and uh, and some other books. Oh, you don't have that on the back. And of course, this one you see is this is a cartoon drawing style. It's uh, well, a lot of Thomas cartoon drawing styles are like this. Uh, so you know, if you've seen Thomas books before, you've probably seen this style. It's quite simplified. Uh, it is. And this book doesn't actually have a hard like back on it. It's just uh, folded over because this book is probably thinner. It's slightly different there instead of. Uh, the other star bunnies is a more cartoonized bunny, I guess, to have a more cartoonized Thomas. Uh, copyright 1990. So this book's even older. Big spread of two page there. If people like to uh, use books to, you know, copy drawings, like, you know, look at that and draw a similar thing, then this book's pretty good. Full pictures on every page. Uh, I'm guessing this is for slightly younger, of course, uh, younger children. Uh, but the art is really nice. Um, it also has things that resemble things from the TV show, like the station there. A lot of repeated dialogue. And there we go. Now this page contains the reading cards, but because the top hat's been moved over there, which you know, I would be serious to cut out these cards anyway, because then you're damaging the book. So I never get cut out things in books; it's pointless. Uh, I never cut them out. I never want to cut them out. If someone try to cut them out, I tell them no, don't cut them out. Don't cut it out. Stop cutting stuff out. How to use mini learning cards? The mini learning cards. Learning cards are used in school to help reinforce basic skills. Now you can use them at home to help your ch child learn to read. Or put your bag readers and cards. Or you may wish to invent your games of your own. Yeah, you can invent so many games of card, like not even cards. You know, they're just it's soft paper. <sighs> Making matches. Choose a mini learning card. Ask a child to go to treasure hunt and find the same word in the story. Um, riddles. Make up riddles about some words and stories, such as it's round and it's what is it? What, what is it? Have to find the word card for ball. <sighs> Building sentences. Ask your child to pick a card and use it to begin a sentence. Baseball game. You are the pitcher, the child is the batter, and the ball is the card, and you pick from the pile. The rules for strike hits are up to you. <sighs> Concentration. Make a set of hand-printed word cards to match the ones provided. Turn all the cards side, uh, word side down and take turns trying to uncover pairs. Uh, they're really trying hard with this, aren't they? Trying to get every single game out of these cards. 
make a word book. That's not even a game. <laughs> right, so yeah, let's just quick quick look at all of these uh, random books. That you, uh, you probably can't see them anywhere anymore. Uh, I wonder if there are any of these actually on eBay. So, yeah. Well, that's that. Uh, I'll take some supplementary pictures for these uh, underneath uh, on the Facebook page. And uh, take care, have a nice day, bye. Oh, subscribe, comment, suggest, and uh, check out Open Media Hong Kong and uh, Facebook pages and eBay's and all that. Yay.